Welcome back to Survivor China Preview. I'm Earl Cole, winner of the most recent season in Fiji. Now it's time to introduce you to the last few contestants, one of whom will be familiar to you wrestling fans out there. I am a WWE diva, and uh, I work for World Wrestling Entertainment, and I definitely have the coolest job in the world. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's just a dream come true. It's a dream job. I'd always watched pro wrestling as a child. I've watched WWE with my brother and my dad, and never in a million years thought that I would actually end up working for WWE or wrestling for them, for that matter. We have a wrestler from the WWE, Ashley, who is, when I saw her on day one, she was wearing fishnet stockings, huge black leather boots, some kind of a top which showed off her ample chest. This 28-year-old one-time Playboy model says she'll have a hard time blending into the background. Yeah, I get the impression that I've been recognized. <laughs> I've been spotted. They got, they got. If I do feel as though I'm bringing anything negative, I think it would be the misconception that I don't deserve to win because I'm already on TV. That has nothing to do with anything, I think, just because I'm on a TV show. That means I don't deserve to like, I, you know, you can look at it from that perspective. She's all that and a bag of chips. She will not be able to hide from anybody. I can't wait to see if she can live up to her own hype. I'm a lunch lady at the intermediate school. I love it. It's great. I know all the kids. I know all the kids' friends. I know all the kids' parents. I know everybody. It's great. It's awesome. Denise, nickname is the lunch lady. And the first thing you see about Denise, you have to acknowledge the hair because she has a mullet. This 40-year-old mother of three from Massachusetts has been a Survivor fan for years. Me and my daughters, we watch it all the time. We, it's kind of like a family night. You know, we all sit around and, and hang out and watch the show. Though she's the oldest female contestant in Survivor China, Denise might have a secret weapon on her side, her knowledge of karate. I opened my own school in January. I got six students right now. And I, um, I've been taking karate now about eight years. I'm actually a second degree black belt, and I'm going for my third degree, hopefully, when I get back from here. I think Denise will probably be made fun of in the beginning. I think it's just the way it goes. But if she can last one or two weeks, I really think the audience will pull for her. And finally, meet James a Louisiana muscle man ready to bury his competition. They're on a burial service. I dig graves. It's a family tradition thing. I'm the third generation grave digger, pretty much. I'm used to, I was born in. And I've been digging graves literally since I was 10. It's just a part of life for me. I mean, I like the work. I'm free. I'm out there by myself doing work. We've never had a guy as physically fit as James. Even though we have a lot of survivors who'd like to think they were, Nobody like James. And this rip 30-year-old claims he gets fit through the family business. I don't like working out. I don't work out. My family looks like this. You have to see my sister understand. But compared to the rest of the contestants, I will be the strongest one. I will be the most athletic. I will be the fastest one. Um, that's pretty much my good strength. See, that's my whole gimmick right now, because everybody's afraid of me for some reason. I don't, don't I look inviting? Don't I look like you would want to talk to me? I think James is going to really do well. I think he's going to be liked by his tribe and be a real quiet leader, and I'm already pulling for him. This sly southerner is also thinking beyond the million dollar prize. He's got a romance in mind. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I mean, I always keep my options open. I have three different types of women, and those three are here. The one with the tattoos, I love tattoos, crazy looking girl. I love petite girls. And I have a thing about Asian girls that I've been dealing with for quite a while. But James has his eye on another competitor for a very different reason. The pretty dude is going to kill me. And when you see him, you know who I'm talking about. He got pretty little curly hairs. And oh my god, he's the, if he's on my side, it's church. I'm done. I'm going home. There's no way I'm going to be able to compete with him at the beginning. I'm done. Coming up. Survivor's ready. Yes. We'll reveal the details of this amazing and colorful challenge. There's more Survivor China preview coming up on TV Guide Network, America's TV headquarters. Welcome back to Survivor China preview. I'm Earl Cole, winner of Survivor Fiji. Now we've got your exclusive look at the very first challenge of Survivor China and the people responsible for putting it all together, Survivor's art department. A big part of this show is the look. When you see Survivor, you know it's Survivor. That's where Survivor's renowned art department comes in. China represents a really fresh look for us. We're working a lot with uh, a lot of different scenery rather than the coconut trees and beaches you'd be used to. 
Uh, we're working with uh, bamboo forests and pine forests and the lake environment. And we're learning a lot off the locals as far as how to work with bamboo that we should have learned many seasons ago. We're just trying to highlight really iconic Chinese cultural things that people would recognise. Um, in our opening challenge, we're using the dragons from the Dragon Dance. Um, we're using the terracotta warriors in quite a few challenges. Expect to see some impressive pyrotechnics throughout the show. One of the challenges at the moment is, involves picking up fireballs of chopsticks, putting into the trough, it rolls down, falls into a wok full of flash powder, which sets off a fuse, which then sets off fireworks. And TV Guide Network was in China exclusively and caught one of the first challenges of season 15. This challenge is called Dragon Dance. The concept of it came about because we're watching every movie ever made in China and all the kung fu movies, and the ceremonial dragons that they carry over their heads. We thought, wow, that would be a cool uh, element to put in a challenge. The course is about the length of a football field and a half. Once they get to a, basically the halfway point, they have to cross a couple of bridges. The way they do this is uh, the guy in the lead that's carrying the head will break away and then scale a couple of walls, pulling some pins, dropping some drawbridges. Then once they're past the drawbridges, they get a key, come back, release the rest of the tribe, get back on uh, with the dragon and race through the swamp. The first challenge, we always expect mayhem. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, are they gonna rip the dragon in half? Are they, uh, somebody gonna get dragged through the mud? Here we go. It is the first challenge of Survivor China. For immunity and fire, Survivor's ready. Go! Okay, well that's it for Survivor China Preview. To find out more about this season, log on to tvguide.com and also tune in to CBS Thursdays at 8, 7 central to see who joins the ranks of us lucky winners. I'm Earl Cole, Shei Shei, which means thank you in Chinese. Thanks for watching. See ya.